بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله a question was asked السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope you and your family are in good health I'm in need of advice on a sister who I'm interested in for marriage. She lives in America and recently accepted Islam. From what I have found out about the sister, is that she is usually that she usually prays and striving to always pray, and she is seeking knowledge. Although I disagree with the people she takes from the Jamaat Jamaat Tablik, I shared some useful websites, student of knowledge, and scholars who are well grounded in the Minhaj of the Salaf, such as Sheikh. Ubaid a Jabri, do you think it's reasonable to pursue this marriage? I understand she doesn't know anything about the dean, which I do not blame the sister. However, what I do realize about the sister is she's willing to learn more about the dean. Jazakallah khair. Uh, first and foremost, it is very important in marriage to have understanding and compromise and that there should be patience that you need that for longevity and a willingness to be open to cater to one another's needs and that's very important and in the situation that you have described and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best that the sister, she's new to Islam and she is uh, striving to preserve her prayer and to preserve her religion and but she uh, is influenced by other sectarian groups to a greater or lesser extent uh, what is important is her openness to accept from her husband that regardless of whether she's a new Muslim or a sister who is uh, was born Muslim or has a long history in Islam what's very important that she is open and that in accordance with Islam, she is obedient to her husband. That doesn't mean she needs to take every uh, opinion that he shares, especially if it's knowledge-based, if she has knowledge and she has the ability to look at things in a different, uh, with a different viewpoint. But with not being on the same minhaj, but her being new to Islam, and as you described her as open, and that she is willing to learn, then these are signs of khair. This is a lot of good signs. But what I will caution against is being too hasty to try to change someone. And so when you go into a marriage, any marriage, you have to be willing to grow. So that doesn't mean that, for example, if she is, uh, she listens to some Jamaat al-Akhwana Muslimin, or, you know, she's really into the movement of Jamaat al-Tabliq and their speakers and, and going to their gatherings. You have to be patient with how you are going to approach that if you enter into that marriage knowing that she's already influenced by those movements. So, unless you make that a condition right off the get-go, you know, I don't want you listening to such and such speakers because they're a danger to your uh, Islam, you know, a danger to your Iman and, and in, in your Aqid and your correct understanding of Islam. For example, a woman who is influenced by Tekfiris and things like this, uh, sometimes they can be much more difficult to come around and depending upon your knowledge and a very important aspect is her respect for you and your knowledge because sometimes uh, people are so influenced by the internet that they don't respect a person even if they've studied even if they've sat with ulama that are being translated to them 
that they don't give them any respect. And so then they just have falsified views and tuck lead, blind following personalities and blind following uh, ideologies sometimes. And so that can be very frustrating and can be cause strain in a marriage and sometimes ultimately divorce. So you want to go into the marriage if you do choose to pursue this with the concept of not being too stern and too with the willingness to grow together and to enlighten her with the knowledge that you have or with the the resources that you have. So I, that's probably the best that I can offer as advice. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with the righteous spouses. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from sharr. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us all and bless us all with ilm al nafia rizqan tayyib wa amal al mutaqabbilan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.